So welcome back to another video. Today we are in the Open Ultra League and let's try out this team here. We're going to be using the Clefable paired with the uh, Guzzlord and the Galarian Moltres. Great lead here. They switch out into their Drapion. We're going to go into our Guzzlord here. A little, bit, a little bit more tank here and you can see right there we are able to resist that crunch. We're going to go for this Dragon Claw right here and since we know that this is not the sludge bomb we don't have to shield they're, they're going for the clench we're going to go for this dragon claw right here it does take out the drape gun so now we can have the, the lord onto the the champ chunking away with this dragon claw here we're going to our clefable our opponent here does throw a move will it be a huge charge move nope it is into being the cross chop cross chop doesn't deal that much damage. They switch out into the Gengar. We do have the Moltres for this Gengar. We know that uh, potentially they could have Shadow Ball, Shadow Punch, Sludge Bomb, etc. etc. It looks like they are running the Shadow Punch and Shadow Ball version, maybe. Um, either way, we're going to uh, throw up this Ancient Power. It does grab that last shield. Um, we're going to go into our uh, zero shield situation. They switch out into the McChamp and we are able to farm down. We're forcing them to use some energy. The Shadow Ball does take out our, our Clefable, but luckily this Moltres ends up having an Ancient Power and boom! Down goes their Gengar. So we do have the uh, Clefable protecting against the uh, Guzzlord which is kind of weak to like fighters. So this is a great lead for us. They switch out into the mock. Okay, so this time, instead of seeing Shadow Drapion, we see the Alolan Muck. Alolan Muck here does elect to go for the Acid Spray. Acid Spray here doesn't quite do that much damage, but you can see their fast moves are adding up. We are both in the yellow. We need, we need to shield right here in order for us to um, keep this Ghost War healthy. We do grab a shield. Now our opponent is looking to try and get a farm down, but we do have to use the last shield here and barely taking out that Alolan Muck. We are going to be able to trip away at this uh, version. They switch out into the Gengar. Okay, so very similar setup like last time. This time um, Sludge Bomb is revealed. We're going to build up energy through our own ancient power here. We need a boost. Oh, no boost, unfortunately. We're going to tank the Shadow Punch, but unfortunately, is it um, so low that they were able to farm down? Going for this Meteor Mash immediately, and now we have Clefable versus this Verizian. Are we going to have enough health? Are we going to be able to take this out? Let's find out. We're making sure we throw in good timing here. We have to tank another Leaf Blade. Okay, the Leaf Blade does not KO, and luckily, this Ultra League Clefable coming in clutch. Boom! Down goes their last Pokemon. So the Clefable doing a really good job of finishing the game for us. Um, mainly because we have uh, decent leads. Okay, we got the Clefable versus the Shadow Dragon Knight. They go into their Feraligator. Okay, so Feraligator, that's not Shadow. We're going to use our Moltres this time. Um, you can see right here, they are very spammy, able to get to another Hydro Cannon. We're going to go for this Ancient Power here, and they decided to let it go. Wow. That was a really gutsy call. Nice call by them, but we do grab the shield back, so it looks like they were going to test the waters anyways. So you can see right here, we're going to have to use our Guzzlor now. Guzzlor is looking to potentially um, get the farm down after the shield, so we do get the farm down. Dragon Knight comes back in, so this is interesting. Dragon Knight does tank that move, and it looks like they are going to um, have to shield or let this go. They decide to let it go, and they and we see the Tentacruel in the back. Okay, Tentacruel in the back here is going to be interesting. They are going to okay tank that crunch. No debuff for us. We try to catch the move right there, but unfortunately unable to catch the move. They go for the Blizzard, and now we have to try to win this game with the Clefable. Clefable here 
has to reach two moves, so we're trying to build up to two moves. They get the Skull debuff, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is low. Is it going to be enough to win this the game? Meteor Mash gets fired off. Now we can see, will this get it? No, unfortunately, losing by a sliver of health. The Scold debuff ended up coming in clutch for our opponent, allowing them to survive uh, two meter mashes um, after one was shielded. All right, we got the Clefable versus the Umbreon here. They switch out into the Colossopod. Ooh, okay, Colossopod, this is kind of a tricky situation. And they're running X Scissor, so that's unfortunately the wrong moveset that we're looking for. If this uh, Glossopod was running Aerial Ace, we would have had a better opportunity here. But let's see if we can wiggle out of the situation. X Scissor does get thrown again. We're going to go for our own um, Dragon Claw. We do grab a shield, which is fantastic. And we're going to double shield here. We're going to see if um, they can win this game with the shield advantage. You can see right here, they have the Umbreon come back in. We're trying to throw on CAP Tide, but looks like they're over farming. Okay. They continue over farming, and uh, now we have a Guzzlord. Okay, they are going to throw a move finally. Okay, there's the last resort. We're going to use our Clefable here. They switch out into their Talonflame, and that is not what we're looking for right here. We do grab that last shield and looking for that boost. No boost. Talonflame in the back is going to be able to take out our Talon or, uh, Galarian Moltres. They go for the Bray Bird. Okay, and then they go for the other Braper, so now they're double debuffed, and now we're just going to make sure we throw on good timing here. Take out this uh, Talonflame with our Moonblast, and trying to reach a Moonblast? No, unfortunately. I don't think this Moonblast would have taken them out from this range anyways. So, GG's to our opponent, unable to win that game, um, especially since the uh, Glossopod ended up running X Scissor. Okay, here we go. We got the okay, Zygarde versus the Clefable Great Lee. They switch out into their Feraligator. This time we're going to use our Guzzlord for their switch. They decide to go for the Ice Beam immediately. And we do shield the correct move. So we are in the advantage now. We do grab that shield back. We're going to go for back to back Dragon Claws here. This is going to get the shield or it's going to get the um, Feraligator low. And it looks like they do go for the back to back Ice Beams. They are not able to um take us out right there so we do take out the Raligator and we do have the shield advantage tentacruel is lurking in the back we do have the moltres for this situation here we're gonna have to shield no matter what because this uh galarian moltres has to take out this tentacruel because our fable does not want to see it we decided to go for the payback and they switch out into the zygord and now we're in a favorable spot Looks like they're going to throw a move here. Do they have Earthquake? No, they have Bulldoze. So it's going to require a lot of energy to get to these moves. And you can see right here, we already at, um, we already got them to low red and decided to quit. So check out this team if you haven't already. And let us know if you enjoyed the video.